So the work we do at, in my lab at Harvard and in Lifespan, my, my book, I explain the cutting edge technology, but I also, in the book, I talk about simple things we can do right now to stay healthy and stay alive until these really potent drugs and technologies are available that can probably cure many different diseases at once. And the simple steps are probably, you've, you've all, all, all the listeners have heard of some of these. We know that aging can be slowed down by moving. So you want to stand up, you want to go take 4,000 steps at least a day. I have a standing desk at work usually. Um, eating the right foods, eating very fresh, uh, pesticide-free foods. Try to pick colors from across the rainbow. Uh, my partner, Serena Poon, is a nutritionist. She tells everyone to eat colored foods. The reason for that is interesting. We believe that uh, the chemicals that are in colored foods actually turn on our natural defenses against the aging process. There are enzymes in our body uh, that protect us, and exercise and eating well turns these protections on. Um, if you want to stay looking good, avoid sunlight as much as you can. Avoid radiation. This does speed up aging. We know that for sure. Um, and the other, the really, really big one is to reduce the amount of psychological stress uh, and get enough sleep. These things, if you don't do those, then you get cortisol, which builds up in your body. And we know that that can accelerate the aging process too. Fasting is designed to do one main thing, which is to make your body feel like it, it's under adversity. So it's a threat to survival. The same way running is a threat, the same way eating foods that are colored, these are foods that are typically uh, under stress themselves and, and could die and you could run out of food. The other thing that's, that you can do to turn on the body's defenses against aging is to give periods where you're not eating. Get, get, let them rest from eating. And the problem with, with nutrition today typically is that there's this idea that you should always be, or should, you should never be hungry. Right? Early morning meal and then have snacks at, in mid morning and then have a lunch. It's craziness because what, what we know from the uh, science of aging is that the body, when it's getting a lot of food or constant food, it doesn't fight aging. The enzymes that I work on, they're called sirtuins. There are seven, in, seven of them in every cell. They get switched off by food. So what I try to do is uh, not eat, eat in the morning. I have a cup of tea. I have you know, my morning drink to keep me going and you know, it fills my stomach. But I try not to eat until the late afternoon every day if I can. And then I have one meal, a big meal, uh, a dinner. And that means my body is fighting aging throughout the day. Um, if you get hungry, you can drink a lot. You can have some snacks, have some dates, have some nuts. But try not to eat, in my view, more than two and preferably try to eat one big meal a day.